The current iteration of the ever-so-popular Ram 1500 has had a bit of a rough start, and the rapidly dropping sales figures have shown us the extent of its problems. Thankfully, Ram trucks have recently redesigned their most popular truck, and they fixed the problems that were plaguing one of America's most beloved and iconic trucks. Join us and let's take a look at how the all-new 2024 Ram 1500 blows everyone away. The eTorque system has finally been perfected. The eTorque mild hybrid system received mixed opinions when it was first launched. Many people praised the improved MPG figures and the added pull that eTorque granted. However, the constant problems and recalls didn't really assure us of quality. Well, you'd be happy to hear that Ram finally fixed all of the issues that were previously plaguing the hybrid system, such as the infamous stalling problems that could lead to catastrophic failures and even car accidents. These issues were mostly traced back to software problems that resulted in an incorrect combination of air and fuel, resulting in the engine stalling. However, there were also issues concerning the electric motor itself, as well as batteries getting drained seemingly out of nowhere. Well, you'd be glad to hear that all of these issues have been completely sorted out for the 2024 model, and there shouldn't be any more recalls. So, you'll be able to drive around your V8-powered truck worry-free. And while we're on the topic of V8s, the V8 Hemis keep on rocking. Yes, believe it or not, the Ram 1500 isn't getting its engines downsized just yet and the legendary 5.7 and 6.2 V8 Hemi engines will live on for a couple of more years. The Chrysler's 5.7 and 6.2 have been a part of Ram's lineup for quite some time now, and most people are very fond of them, which is why Stellantis decided to keep them around for a couple more years. Oh, and honestly, as much as we love the new Hurricane inline-6 engine, we also love hearing a bit of rumble from the back of our trucks, so we wholeheartedly approve of this choice. Alongside the V8, the eTorque 3.6 Pentastar V6 with 305 horsepower will also remain as the baseline engine choice for the Ram 1500. So, if you're up for a more economical version of the truck, you'll be happy to hear that the choice also remains intact. A new trim level One of the biggest updates to the Ram 1500 lineup for 2024 is by far the addition of the beloved Warlock trim level that was previously seen on the Ram 1500 Classic. The Warlock trim level has been the coolest trim available on the classic Ram 1500, as it offered a considerably more rugged exterior that looked like it could take on the world. The current gen Ram 1500's Warlock trim will offer a similar approach when it comes down to the aesthetics of the car. From the front, we'll be seeing a completely blacked out grille and bumper trim that best complements the expanded choice of dark and earthly colors. The side trim has also been blacked out, and with it so were the side mirrors, allowing the car to look much more menacing than before. The back has also been slightly changed, as the badging and all the letters have, alongside the trim, been blacked out, making the Ram 1500 Warlock stand out from the crowd, especially if you're driving behind one. Plus, the Warlock trim isn't all that expensive, as it's a $2,995 upgrade package to the baseline tradesman lineup. The suspension has also been lifted a bit, which grants the Ram 1500 considerably more off-road capability, and the truck has also been fitted with a striking set of gunmetal gray alloy wheels that are effortlessly combined with a blacked-out trim. Now, even though it has been lifted, the Ram 1500 Warlock isn't as tall as the TRX version, which means the general comfort and on-road performance won't be negatively impacted, making the Warlock trim the best of both worlds. Plus, the interior of the Warlock will also be significantly better than the Tradesman, as it will offer a larger infotainment screen, better seats, and overall higher quality materials. Oh, and speaking of the interior, the interior quality is astonishingly good. They don't call the Ram 1500 the Rolls Royce of pickup trucks for no reason. The current gen Ram 1500's interior has been spot on ever since it was first introduced, and we're glad that nothing's changed in this department. In fact, we'd be glad if the interior remains this way throughout the truck's entire lifespan. The lower trim levels come as standard with a soft-touch plastics dashboard and door trim, and the cloth seats are very comfortable. Plus, you can always upgrade the basic infotainment screen to the intermediate one or the full-on 12-inch display. 
The middle-of-the-road versions of the Ram 1500 are fitted with immaculately beautifully combined leather and cloth seats, and the dashboard can also be accented with different trim pieces, as well as leather, cloth, and Alcantara. However, the biggest surprise is the highest trim levels, which offer interiors that are on the level of high-tier Mercedes-Benz models in terms of quality. We're talking about a dashboard that has been completely wrapped in leather, as well as the door panels, and also the trim pieces that are made out of real wood, making the interior of the car a pleasant place to be in. The seats are also as comfortable as they get, and to further amplify the feeling of luxury, the top-of-the-line models have been fitted with both the state-of-the-art 12-inch infotainment screen and a digital gauge cluster. However, everything comes at a price and the Ram 1500's price varies quite a bit depending on the level of the equipment. Trim Levels and Pricing Despite being a very luxurious truck, the Ram 1500 isn't all that expensive, as the tradesman trim level starts from $37,905, which might actually sound pretty affordable. However, there is a reason for such a low price point, and that's the fact that you're getting a very basic model for the price, as the tradesman doesn't even come with painted bumpers nor alloy wheels, and virtually everything is an optional extra. The Tradesman HFE is a bit better, however, it's an RWD exclusive, which significantly limits its off-road capability. And if you want to buy a better equipped version of the Tradesman, you should definitely go for the aforementioned Warlock package, as it offers both a very decent interior and exterior for only a couple of grand more. In our opinion, if you're going for a Ram 1500, you should at least opt for the $42,000 Bighorn trim level, as it offers a much nicer exterior and a fairly well-equipped interior. However, you still get cloth seats as standard though, and you'll still need to cough up almost three grand over its asking price to get the 5.7 Hemi. Still, generally speaking, the Ram 1500 Bighorn offers enough for most needs. Next up in line are the Laramie and the Rebel trim levels both of which are a significant upgrade over the Bighorn. Both of them are in the $54,000 range, however, the differences between them are pretty noticeable, as the Laramie trim level offers a more luxurious experience, as it has softer suspension, a six-seat layout, and a leather-wrapped interior, whereas the Rebel lineup offers a much more youthful interior design, a taller ride, and more supportive seats. Both trim levels offer an upgraded infotainment screen. However, only the Rebel comes with a fully digital gauge cluster as standard, which makes sense as it is sportier than the Laramie trim level. The engine choice is still the same though, and if you'd like to go for the 5.7, you'd still need to cash out nearly $3,000 to do so. Next up is the Longhorn Limited, and it's just unbelievably beautiful to say the least. It offers a pristine interior that has been fitted with loads of high-quality wood that have been immaculately complemented by the new saddle leather that surrounds it, and the seats are extremely comfortable. Plus, you get most of the tech that the Ram 1500 offers as standard, such as the beautiful 12-inch touchscreen infotainment. However, we simply cannot stomach the fact that it still doesn't come with a 5.7 V8 as standard, which is unacceptable for the price point as the Longhorn Limited starts from $60,000. The top of the range, Limited trim, however, does come with a 5.7 V8 as standard, and it offers equally as impressive interior and equally comfortable seats, which makes sense as this is the most expensive trim level for the standard Ram 1500. It is expensive, starting at just over $64,000. However, if you're looking for a no-compromise experience that combines pristine levels of luxury with utilitarian functionality, there are no substitutes for the limited edition. And if you're up for combining speed with the utmost levels of off-road ability, the TRX is the version you should go for, as the 6.2 Hemi that produces 702 HP makes it one of the fastest trucks ever to exist, with a 0-60 to time in around 4.5 seconds. But to purchase this monster of a truck, you'll need to throw an additional $20,000 over the limited edition's asking price. And for that price, you don't even get full leather seats. Fully optioning the TRX will cost you well over $100,000, which is three times the asking price of the base model. Certainly a lot of money for a truck, however, you will be getting the most luxurious and fastest truck currently on the market for the money, so it's well worth it in our opinion. Plus, the TRX is a real head-turner, as it has an unmatched road presence, even compared to its immediate rivals.